What's up guys, I'm here with Rory and here we are in the Spencer monitor enclosure also houses a sand monitor, take it from here. Alright, so we've got, uh, we got three Spencers in here, we we got three hatches because we thought, well we got one which was this one down here was a, a year old when we got it, but we didn't know the sex. This one here was a hatchy and the other one we got in here under here was also a hatchy. So they're both two years old now and this one's three years old all females, so uh, we will be breeding at some point. <laughs> when you find a male. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the uh, we've got the sandy in the hide at the moment. Yeah. And it's um, it's also a female. <laughs> and um, yeah, they all live quite comfortably in here. We've we just redid the enclosure, so um, before before this redo, it, it housed like a parenti initially, and it housed laces and. Um, it was just like a generic setup with a dog kennel, um, but we did a new hide because the dog kennel kind of fell apart. And um, never with that. It's uh, basically under under the sand here. We've got a, a heat cord, um, and we put glass on top of the heat cord, so it's got aeration down the bottom. Um, so you can see that down there. And then over the other side, we don't have the heat cord. We've got three lights, so the three lights on top of the tile um, provide the heat but as, at the same time for the monitors it's important to have the the spacing and the lights so that they um, they don't get thermal burns on their back because if they don't have the spacing then the they'll just stay under the one heat and it'll only heat part of their body and they won't realise it and they'll get burnt so that's why the spacing is, we've got three 40 watt bulbs in there so they're pretty low wattage but the heat is dispersed and does the job. So how long did it take for you to build an enclosure like this? Um, so uh, my colleague Kalen does most of the construction side because I'm not that good at it. <laughs> um, but it, like to build the structure of the enclosure, it'd probably take uh, like a week or two if we were doing it solidly. But to do the interior, it it, it took us a couple of days. Um, we just we're, we're getting pretty proficient at it now. <laughs> Um, this is probably the thing that takes the longest because um, you got to build it out of plywood and then paint it and uh, you've got to wait for the paint to dry and all that stuff and then attach everything inside. You like all the wiring? Yeah, yeah. So, but apart from that, like we've we've got we've got wire underneath the enclosure, so we've got the mouse wire that's on the roof and the walls underneath, um, so they don't dig out. And then underneath the mouse wire, we've got weed matting. So although this enclosure was like full of weeds before, it was just on top of the weed matting from seeds. So it was you just very take my croc? To take out. <laughs> it's going to take a munch. Take a munch of the croc. Come back to hunt some more chicken. And these guys, well, we feed these guys mainly uh, mice and rats, so full prey items, but occasionally we'll give them a treat like chicken wings, and even in the chicken wings there's bits of um, bits of calcium in there because they got the small bit of bone and then you got the bit of protein and meat around it. The whole prey items are still much better. And these guys, um, this enclosure is fairly new, so all this substrate is pretty new, so it doesn't really have the like the bugs and stuff that it'll get into it. But in the last enclosure, um, like this log wasn't as hollow as it is now. These guys dig out the hollow logs. They'll get the witchy grubs, and they'll they'll get any little garden skinks or um, or any little bugs that come in and dig in the ground. Because these guys, they dig dig a fair bit, they've already dug a tunnel under there for a little hide and they love it, but they do climb as well and that's why we've got this structure here and this wood really heats up well and catches the catches the heat and they do love swimming as well so um, the only thing is on the cold day you've got to make sure they don't sit in the water and then just <laughs> slowly freeze but yeah that's the Spencer slash sand monitor <laughs> <laughs>